Isabella here. Um, this is going to be a fun video because I can barely talk. Uh, and I was going to start with, hello, my name is Tom. <laughs> so this is going to be like a two-part video because um, obviously I'm pretty sure you noticed the no hair situation. I feel like a dude. Uh, I don't know if it's a good thing or not. Um, basically, what happened to the hair? Do I know the hair first or what happened to my mouth? Because, um, <laughs> oh Lord. Okay, um, let's begin the situation. The situation of the hair, basically, I lost, I don't know if you remember me before, but I had hair down to like here. Uh, so 20 more inches of hair. And um, I came back from vacation. I'm like, okay, this is 2020 and I want to change. I want something like awesome. Like I'm going to cut my hair off. Not myself, obviously. So I was recommended by my friend to go to a hairdresser. And I'm sorry, I got something in my eye. Ah. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, so I go to the hairdresser and I had a picture in mind. So I'll insert it here. Um, this is what I asked for. And she's like, oh, for that, I'll have to do bangs. And in my head, it was bangs. I'm like, no, no, no. I just want, like, layers everywhere. So I came out of there looking like a very long, bob-tied uh, Victoria Beckham down to here. But, like, long in the front. And I wanted, like, uh, layers in the front. I'm like, okay, whatever. <laughs> I go home. I try to style it. I still wasn't convinced about it. So I go back in a week, I'm like, okay, please, really, this picture, do me layers in the front, that's all I want. She's like, mm, I'll have to go shorter though, if we want to do that. So I'm like, sure, go for it. You know, I might as well be adventurous, it's 2020. Um, so I got that done, and I came out looking like Victoria Beckham, again, shorter though. Um, so, okay. I'm like, okay, we're gonna go see somebody else. I'm still so not used to this. This is like, oh, this is so short. Anyways, so come Saturday of the following week, I'm like, honey, just book me an appointment at your hairdresser because maybe they'll understand better what I mean. So I, I leave early, like an hour early, and they decide to close the highway. So between my house and three exits, it took me two hours. So by that time, they say, don't bother coming. It's just, there's no point. You're already super late on your appointment. Just go elsewhere. Oh, they didn't say go elsewhere, but they just say, you know, we can't like at this point. So I'm like so sad about it. I'm like, I cannot live like that another week. So I Google like uh, five-star hairdressers in the area. One is super close to my house. So I call. They say, we can take you right away. Come. I show this picture because now I'm a different length, so I want a different hairstyle. I show this picture and I'm like, please, can you correct and just give me layers in the front? Give me layers in the front. And she's like, yeah, no problem, but I'll have to go shorter. I'm like, whatever, <laughs> whatever, whatever you gotta do, just give me that kind of. And um, I come out of there. There's no damn layers in the front, and I look like Victoria Beckham for a third time. I'm like, what? Oh my god. I wanted, At that point, I wanted just to disappear. I'm like, this ain't happening. Like, <laughs> I have this much hair left, and yeah. So while I was there, I bought some gel. I said, you know what? If it doesn't work out, I'll just like glue it backwards like the Matrix. You know, like, uh, I'll insert that in here. Uh, I'm like, whatever, I'll just look like a dude. Um, the next morning I wake up, I'm like, you know what? I think I'll do it myself. Like, just the front layers. And yeah, I come out okay, but it's just the length is so short now. You know, I do have my layers in the front. Like, you can still, well, I mean, I usually have them straighter than that. And here I am recording a video and I totally didn't prepare. But um, I have some hair now. You can see. Uh, anyways. That was the situation of the hair. So, my name is Tom. Hi, nice to meet you. I'll be Tom until this hair goes back up. <laughs> I'm kidding. I, I don't dislike it. It's okay. I like having short hair. Like, it doesn't take like 30 minutes to brush anymore. But it was not the original goal. Now I'm 
really close to you guys because my face is changing. Um, <laughs> you probably noticed I have things on my teeth and I'm talking like Donald Duck because it's a little bit um, weird to talk with that. This, my dears, is um, a sort of braces called Invisalign. And um, I got them yesterday because, because um, I've been on the carnivore diet since about a year and two months. And prior to that, I was like heavily plant-based and I completely crushed my system with plants. Uh, I depleted myself to the point I'm like, that's it, I think I'm dying. So in December uh, 2018, I decided just to make a radical change and just cut out all the vegetables and all the starches, all the carbs, and just go like keto and then I transition into carnivore. Little did I know that my body was so depleted that it was depleted to the bones. So when I did start to eat meat again and dairy and all that good stuff, my bone density went up. And I was like visually losing weight like now I don't know if you see me well I'm wearing hoodie the usual feminine me um, but I am like five seven and a half and 140 pounds I was a little bit like heavier uh, but visually I've lost a ton of weight like there's no more jiggle swiggle but on the scale the weight either went up a little or remained the same but the visuals were changing like I was getting shredded but weighing the same and I haven't like really trained insensibly since 2017 18 I like I work out a little bit here and there but it's just to let you know that my bone density just skyrocketed and I guess my muscle density also like everything got replenished I feel amazing but one little problem arose my face I don't know if you notice how wide my freaking jaw is right now. So, um, my jaw grew so much that my teeth started shifting and the front teeth completely went like sideways. Well, not completely, but on the verge of being completely sideways and started giving me like incredible jaw pain because my teeth basically don't fit in my mouth anymore because here it got like and I guess it's filled in here and I have to have supernumerary teeth meaning extra teeth that most people don't have like I was born with two sets of canine teeth uh, one got removed obviously so I don't look like a freak and uh, I had eight uh, wisdom teeth and only two out of uh, the eight got removed so I have six wisdom teeth at the moment so all that fit in that tiny face of mine um, and then my jaw grew and then all my supernumerary teeth won't fit so um oh also i started grinding at night because the shift i guess made my teeth grind and one side of my face nearly grinded down like two molars it's not fun it's not fun waking up with like huge jaw pain and wondering what the hell how come like i'm losing chips <laughs> of teeth um so I went to see my dentist, who happens to be my hubby. <laughs> I was like, yeah, you need a night guard. And I'm like, what about the teeth that are moving? It's like, perhaps Invisalign also. So Invisalign is like the new age braces. So uh, yesterday I got my first set of trays. And that's why I look like that. Uh, I know it looks weird a bit, but it, they're actually pretty comfortable, okay? Um, now let's start some imaging of what's going to happen to me in the next month. It's a treatment of three months plus six, uh, plus another three months of keeping the retainers or something like that. A total of six months plus probably keeping night guards for the rest of my days. Um, it is necessary because it just started grinding my teeth. I don't and know how much further my teeth would have like crooked if I would have left it like that. So the game plan right now is to widen the arc of my teeth, like this, widen it so we can fit the teeth in my mouth <laughs> like they used to prior this uh, carnivore diet. I mean, you win, you lose, huh? Uh, so the arc is going to get bigger on the top and on the bottom. I have no idea what the heck I'm going to look like after this treatment, probably like, I don't know, a werewolf? Maybe this is where we're headed. 
uh, werewolf came, uh, came from the Matrix with short hair and stuff. But uh, I I noticed it. Like even some people said like mm, your jaw is different. But yeah, like by the time I noticed it, I had like teeth problems. So I'm really excited. The only thing uh, is that I talk a little bit with a lisp because air gets get stuck like when I talk <laughs> through the trays or something. Um, and I should be keeping them 24 hours a day, hopefully. Um, anyways, I prefer even to eat with them because uh, on top of my teeth, underneath the trays, there is some, um, some composite markers to hold the trays in place, to my understanding. And at the current moment, they're fresh and they're pretty damn sharp. So whenever I take off my trays and try to eat something, uh, they abrase the inside of my mouth, making it bleed. So I think I'll just be like on um, a milk and cheese diet until, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I try to eat some meat today with my trays on. The chewing wasn't really there. And uh, when I took them off, it all got stuck in the composite. And I'm like, oh, this is not happening. So I'll have to suffer through this. But overall, I'm pretty sure that the result is going to be amazing. And yeah. So this is what carnivore diet did for me. I mean, whatever, the teeth is one issue, but it just proves that I was so darn depleted that I didn't even have minerals in my bones anymore. Like how the hell my jaw like stayed stable all these years, I have no idea. But yeah, so it's pretty cool. Uh, so if you're wondering if I sound like Donald Duck in my next few videos in the next six months, well, it's because I got trays in my mouth and I look weird. <laughs> Alright guys, if you're not already subscribed, don't forget to subscribe, duh, and like this video if you like my content, and leave me comments, my comment section is enabled, so we can all share our experiences, share your experiences about health, about life, about Invisalign if you had it, so yeah, thanks so much for watching, see ya, bye.